a seatbelt. Well, a Midtown homeowner claims Alabama Power destroyed her heritage oak tree by trimming it. She went before city council asking for help today. As Local 15's Madupe Idowu explains, the city says its hands are tied. That's right, Greg. The city says tree trimming regulations for Alabama Power is in the hands of the state. But Sarah McCoy says she legally cannot trim her own trees without permission from the city. And she wonders why those rules don't apply to the power company. It's the shade canopy that my first tree had before they butchered it. Sarah McCoy says she was out running errands Thursday afternoon when she came home to this. Limbs of her heritage oak tree were cleared around power lines. So that entirety of that tree is gone. To her surprise, McCoy says Alabama Power came to her historic Midtown neighborhood to trim her trees. It's not trimming, it's heavy cutting. It's butchering, mutilating, abusing. It's not trimming. She took her concerns to city council. To ask that you issue a moratorium on further trimming. City officials say their hands are tied and they don't have the authority to issue a moratorium. However, city council did agree to review the city ordinance and state laws. I think it's time for the city council to take, take a look at all of our laws and rules pertaining to uh, giving authority to somebody else to cut, cut the trees down. But Alabama Power says it has the authority to trim around its power lines because the state has granted it the right of way. In its statement, the power company stated trimming helps maintain safety for the general public, improves reliable service for our customers, and helps provide a safe work environment for our crews that maintain the lines. It goes on to say that it trims the trees in, quote, a way that maintains the aesthetics and health of the trees. We're not allowed to responsibly prune or trim that tree. So, but basically, uh, Alabama Power is being allowed to mutilate trees at will. McCoy says she's willing to go to the state level to challenge laws that allow power companies to trim trees on private property. Councilman Richardson will review the local and state laws at the Public Safety Committee meeting in August.